Hello everyone, welcome back. So in our Mac setup series, today we are going to see how we can install the Node.js in your Mac operating system, whether it is like any any of the chip, let's say that you are using the Mac Silicon chip uh, of the models like uh, the M1, M2 Pro or Max or any of those MacBook Pro or MacBook Air models, right? So uh, we are not going to like install directly from this location like if you go to the node.js.org you can see that there is a latest table version and then there is a current which is the 20.0 already released but we are not going to simply like click on this particular what you call LTS version of uh, probably it might uh, download a DMG file and then install as regular but we are going to use a command actually it's a NVM called as so you can see that uh, it's called as NVM now this is something called as node version manager so we will use this package to install the node actually here now the reason why we want to do this one is that there are like where if you are working in a javascript or a typescript project right not all the projects really need this particular version some might not be compatible some might be compatible so for that reason actually like let's say that you are creating a new project you want to test the 20.0 if your project is compatible or not or there is a real-time project or you are contributing to any open source and that need the minimum or the maximum version that is 18 only so how do you really maintain different versions you cannot really uninstall and install every time you need a different version right so that's where the node version manager is really coming into handy for you guys now just to install that it's a very straightforward uh, what do you call option actually for you guys to do that so for this what we are going to do see now for any kind of npm packages right i mean uh, like this nvm is a node package right how do you install because to install this one you need the node okay so at this moment they are giving an option where you can install by using cell script which you can use it to install that so i will do that i will use the curl command for that so you can simply come back to this location and you can copy this one and as usual open your terminal and into this terminal what you need to do so you need to just copy paste that and you need to enter it that's it and you can see that uh, your the NVM package is now installed. Now just to know that uh, you can. So it is not uh, it is saying that the NVM command is not found. So NPM uh, NVM hyphen V is not really a command. It seems like uh, let's see. See because if you see that uh, there are couple of prerequisites. They are asking for us to check it. One is that. Uh, it is asking that do we have this GSHRC folder or the directory present in our user folder or not. So if you see that because it is appending certain source string or source code into our this file. Now let's first verify that. So for this let me open into the finder and my user directory and then you can open the hidden directories by using the command shift and dot in your keyboard and you will see that there is a dot nvm directory is created because if you see this documentation right it says that it is cloning the nvm repository into this dot nvm directory and also this particular lines of code or the statements is adding to your gshrc if you are using a bash script then it will down it will copy that this content into the base profile but for me it is the g g cell actually if you see that it's a g cell okay for some of you it might be bass so now let me open the uh, what you call the finder and if you go to the gshrc right and open it into the sublime text and if you see the content you will see that this particular line of code is already added so it means that the prerequisite is now done. Now the next thing is that to verify if the NVM is already present or not or the command is working fine or not. For this if you see that command hyphen V NVM. Now this is for Linux but we can use it into our Mac operating system as well. So let's run this command and try to see that whether it is working fine or not. So I will do one thing. I'll put this 
and open my terminal and just copy paste there okay so probably in this instance it is not working let me open a new terminal so i can go new window or a new tab and then here i can put this command and you can see that the nvm command is now able to identify that now i can use this nvm to install the node versions okay so you can see that the nvm gives you a couple of options actually to install and use the node versions now to install the node see at this moment if i come back here and if i say node you can see that this command is not found because the node is not yet installed we have simply installed the nvm command actually into our system now to install that let me put it side by side now to install a particular node version if you see that the latest version is 18 right now let's open this command options and the terminal so i can say that nvm install okay and i will say that 18 you can see that to install any particular node version into your system you can use nvm install then the version of that particular node now at this moment i want to install the 18 because i don't have anything now if you see that now it is downloading the package from the node.js uh, node.js.org web portal and you can see that the 18 version is installed now if i put node-v you can see that the 18 version is now installed now let's say that i want to install another version actually to that so i can say that nvm and then i will say that install and let's say that i want to install the 16 version okay 18 i have installed now i want to install the 16 version so i will just do like this and it is also finding the package from nodejs.org and it should install that as well so you can see that the 16 version is installed and the nvm is now using the 16 now you can see that if i put node hyphen v you can see 16 is now the uh, the applied version of your node on your system now let's say that i want to now switch back to the 18 so i shouldn't be again doing that nvm install and then 18 so for that nvm given an option called as use and if i want to use the 18 i can simply say that nvm use 18 and you can see that now it is using the 18 version now if i put node hyphen v i will get it this one okay so that is the way you can do that so you can use this nvm package manager to install a specific version of the node and you can use the command as use to switch back to any of the versions that you want to use it now one of the benefit is that let's say that whenever you are uh, like if, if you have multiple node uh, node projects or like typescript or javascript projects and a particular project need a particular version you can quickly jump back to that by saying that nvm use that specific version of the node which is compatible to your project and you can execute or run that particular code or if you want to try the newer versions or the beta versions you don't really need to uninstall your existing node and then you need to reinstall or upgrade it and then uh, what you call downgrade to the latest stable version so that's where the nvm package is more useful for you okay so they have actually given a, an extensive documentation if you are using linux operating system even they have an option for your windows as well so you can follow this uh, particular uh, documentation and you will get to know all these details so that's pretty much it it's a quick session on how to effectively install the node versions into your system and how to use it so hope this session is useful for you we will see some more interesting topics in our future sessions. So stay tuned and do subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't. Thank you for watching.